the beginning and before all ages, the Word was God, and He humbled Himself to be born the Savior of the world. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Today, Saint John, to call us to love others, especially love enemies. Because when we believe to God, we should to love others. So during this Mass, we ask God about this love for us. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, your almighty God and Prince of Peace, Lord have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Son of God and Son of Mary, Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Word made flesh and splendor of the Father, Lord have mercy. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O oh God, who through your Son raised up your eternal light for all nations, grant that your people may come to acknowledge the full splendor of the Redeemer, that both every more in his radiance they may reach everlasting glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives in us with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, my God, forever and ever. Reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, we love God because he first loved us. If anyone says, I love God, but hates his brother, he is a liar. For whoever does not love a brother whom he has seen cannot love God whom he has not seen. This is the commandment we have from him. Whoever loves God must also love his brother. Everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ is begotten by God, and everyone who loves the Father loves also the one begotten by him. In this way we know that we love the children of God when we, lo when we love God and obey his commandments. For the love of God is this, that we keep his commandments. And his commandments are not burdensome, for whoever is begotten by God conquers the world and the victory that conquers the world is our faith. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. O God, with your judgment endow the king, and with your justice the king's son. He shall govern your people with justice, and your afflicted ones with judgment. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. From, from fraud and violence he shall redeem them, and precious shall their blood be in his sight. May they be, may they be prayed for continually. Day by day shall they bless him. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. May his name be blessed forever. As long as the sun, his name shall remain. In him shall all the tribes of the earth be blessed. All the nations shall proclaim his happiness. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord has sent me to bring glad tidings to the poor. 
and proclaim liberty to captives. The Lord be with you. Our reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus returned to Galilee in the power of the Holy of the Spirit, and news of him spread throughout the whole region. He taught in their synagogues and was praised by all. He came to Nazareth, where he had grown up, and went according to his custom into the synagogue on the Sabbath day. He stood up to read and was handed a scroll of the prophet Isaiah. He unrolled the scroll and found a passage where it is written, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to bring glad tidings to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim liberty to captives and recovery of sight to the blind, to let the oppressed go free and to proclaim a year acceptable to the Lord. Running up the scroll, he handed it back to the attendant and sat down. And the eyes of all in the synagogue looked intently at him. He said to them, Today his scripture passage is fulfilled in your hearing. And all spoke highly of him and were amazed at the gracious words that came from his mouth. The Gospel of the Lord. God loves every person, for it's God's very nature to love. Certainly, God at times withholds certain grace from his beloved children, so that they might be purified or grow in longing for him. Likewise, God bestows certain graces called charisms upon certain of his children, but not upon others. Nonetheless, God never at any moment fails to love each human person. This love sustains each person in being and calls each fallen person to greater holiness. Since God loves unconditionally, and since man is called to live in the likeness of God, each human being is called to love unconditionally. Naturally, it's more difficult to love one's neighbor than to love God, for God is more lovable. Yet God does not love a person because that person is lovable. God loves a person in order to make that person lovable. St. John points to this truth in today's first reading. Beloved, we love, beloved, we love God because He first loves us. If and when you do not love another human person, then you are not acting in the likeness of God. This truth does not mean that love never makes any demands of another. Indeed, God's love demands that one become like God in how one loves, in all the forms that love takes, including the forgiveness of sins. In the crucifixion of Jesus, we see most profoundly that God does not love us in spite of our sins. He loves us right through our sins. Trusting in the Lord's goodness, let us go to Him with our prayers. 
for vocations to the priesthood and religious life. May the Lord bless the church with committed men and women. Let us pray to the Lord. For the world, that the peace of Christ may touch all nations and lead them to understanding and cooperation. Let us pray to the Lord. For struggling with mental illnesses, may the Lord bless them with the help and support they need. Let us pray to the Lord. For those within our faith community who are unemployed, unemployed, may the Lord in his mercy provide for them. Let us pray to the Lord. For all those who have died in the hope of rising with Christ, especially Anna and Joseph Linsky, May they soon rest in his peace. Let us pray to the Lord. And for our private intentions which we keep in our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Loving Father, in incarnation, you gave us more than we could ever hope for. Grant these prayers according to your holy will. In the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Blessed are you. Lord, God of our creation, for through our goodness we have received the bread we offer you of the earth and the work of human hands, we have become as the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of our creation, for through our goodness we have received the one we offer you of the wine and the work of human hands will become our spiritual dream. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Receive our oblation, O Lord, by which is brought about a glorious exchange, that by offering what you have given, we may merit to receive your, your very self, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For today, you have revealed the mystery of our salvation in Christ as a light for the nations. And when he appeared in our mortal nature, you made us new by the glory of his immortal nature. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and the powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts that we pray by sending now your Spirit upon them like the fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For it is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mystery of faith, we proclaim. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer Lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have as worthy to be, to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her the fullness of charity together with friends, our Pope, and Edward, our Bishop, and the clergy. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of our face. Have Mary, son, as all we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and other saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. And the service come and informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. O Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look on our sins. Another fight of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. We reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us have each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behind who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
My Jesus, I believe you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that by the power of these holy mysteries, our life may be constantly sustained through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace.